let's now look at uh, mathematics paper 1 june 2019 session so this will be the front of the paper with the instructions make sure you read all the instructions for the candidates but here the most important thing is to note that you must use a black pen do not use pencil in workings or in anything just use your black pen before we proceed to the next question i just want to remind you that it's easy to master all these examination skills by downloading feature access available on google play store which lets you download hundreds of my video lessons notifications on syllabus developments and past papers and this is another uh, condition neither mathematical tables nor slide rules nor calculators may be used in this paper if you cheat and use a calculator you are easily caught because of the answers now number one reads express 12 over 25 as a decimal fraction so with my black pen i write 12 over 25 then i'll add a zero here since 12 is less than 25 you just add a zero here like multiplying so this means 25 into 120 so 25 into 120 is equals to 4 remainder 20 so since i have put this small zero i have to put zero comma here to show that the above number was less than the uh, denominator here so zero comma four then i'll cancel here my remainder is 20 then i'll add another zero since i'm um, already in the decimal places i will just add another zero here and uh, 25 into 208 so my answer will be 0 comma 48 another question this is now part b of number one please make sure that you are showing working in paper one so that you can get as much marks as you can so two over five as a percentage as a percentage we just multiply by 100 so i will rewrite 2 over 5 times 100 then 5 into 100 that's 20 2 times 20 is 40 do not forget to write this percent because this is asked as a percentage so it's 40 percent if you leave a percent out you are likely to lose a half marks then 0, 0, 0,0375 is a fraction in its lowest term. So the first thing is to consider the decimal uh, places in your value. In this case, we have 4. So 4 means that the number which will become a denominator, which starts with 1, must have 4 zeros. This means it's over 10,000. So, oh, Consider the last value here. These are units, tenth, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousand. So this means it's over ten thousand. So three seven five over ten thousand. Then I'll start to divide by a, a number which is easy to divide. That is twenty five divided by twenty five divided by twenty five. Twenty five into the three hundred seventy five is fifteen. Twenty five into hundred is four. So this becomes four hundred. This is not yet to its lowest term. We must further uh, solve this. So I will divide by 5. So 5 into 15 is 3. 5 into 40 is 8. So this is over 80. So this was my number 1. Let's proceed to the other number. Number 2. Write down the next term in each of the following sequences. So this is a topic under number patterns. Or sequences if you are using the victory app we can check so this is 1 4 9 16 we first consider the nature of numbers which types of numbers are appearing in the list and you can see here that these are square numbers this one squared this two squared this three squared this four squared let me write this so the next term the question is the next term so the next term will be seven squared which makes it 49 so i'll write it 49 here and here we have numbers under square roots they are all under square roots it's a pattern a square root it's now a pattern then we have three two three five seven eleven you can see that 
these types of numbers are prime numbers under square root. So these are prime numbers under square root. So the next prime number after 11 is 13. So it's a matter of considering a pattern. There are no workings needed here. Now, we have 16, 8, 4. Two. You can see that the uh, subsequent number is half of the uh, previous number, which is 8 is half of 16, 4 is half of 8, 2 is half of 4, 1 is half of 2. So the next term is over as half of 1 is half. We are done with number 2. Let's go to number 3. Three girls aged 12 years, 13 years, and 15 years share $100 in the ratio of their ages. Calculate the amount of money that each girl receives. I must write down my ratios according to age, which is 12, 13, and 15. Then add them to find the total of the ratios which we will use as a denominator. So this means we have three fractions here, 12 over 40, 13 over 40, 15 over 40. Then we reduce what can be reduced to lowest term here, 12 over 40 is same as 3 over 10. So we multiply by the amount which is 100. So 3 over 10 times 100, this will be $30. Then of 13 over 40 times 100, uh, I will cancel my zeros. Then 13 times 10, this will be 130 over 4, which gives me a $32.50. Then lastly, I'll consider 15 over 40, to its lowest term is 3 over 8, times 100. 4 into 8 is 2, 4 into 100 is 25. So now, uh, 75 divided by 2 to give me $37.50. So these are the shares each is going to receive.